As someone who clearly has a bit of a running shoe addiction, as you can tell from behind me, it might be easy to think that all of my PRs have come in the Nike Next Percent, the Audios Pro 2, and all these different types of super shoes, but the reality is none of my PRs have come in any of those shoes. The shoe that I've run all of my PRs in is gonna surprise you because, well, it's not the typical PR shoe that you might think of. Let's get into it. So I had to preface this entire video with the fact that this is strictly for entertainment purposes and to highlight the fact that these super shoes, while amazing and they do help performance, they're not like a magical fix that is gonna make you run super fast. Prior to someone waking up and thinking about making a super foam for a running shoe, people were getting out the door and breaking barriers each and every day and running faster than I will ever run in nothing more than fabric strapped to their feet. So these super shoes clearly aren't making me any type of Olympian. In my personal opinion, the quality of runners defined by their dedication to the sport, whether that be training their mind or their body to become a more overall well-rounded runner. And that doesn't mean to have to run faster. Running faster is just a byproduct of putting in the work each and every day. And it's not defined by the shoes that they have strapped to their feet. That is just some sort of little extra spice to put on top of this already proven cake. But with that out of the way, let's talk about shoes. And I suppose we can't really talk about my PRs if I don't disclose my PRs. So folks, here are my PRs and all the different distances that I've run. So for the 5K, I actually haven't run a 5K PR in an actual 5k race my 5k prs have come during triathlon so what does that tell you i guess i don't push myself hard enough in 5k races so my 5k pr is 20 minutes and 36 seconds coming at the end of a sprint triathlon that was a good day. That was a really good day. And for the 10K, I did actually do a 10K race, the Navy 10K here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. That is a super hilly course. If you want to come run in a hilly area, come to Halifax. It's nothing but hills. But my 10K PR is something like 46 minutes and 47 seconds. I, I'll have to pull up the exact numbers just, just based off the top of my head. Could be short, could be long, who knows? You'll see it on the screen right here. And for the half marathon distance, well, folks, I really subjected myself to a world of pain. I put myself into an indoor track half marathon. Yeah, that is super mind numbing, but it was a lot of fun and you can't get any more flat than a track. So it kind of worked out. I ran one hour and 35 minutes for the half marathon on that indoor track. And I've never done an actual marathon race. So folks, all these shoes that I have behind me are just worthless. I'm a dang fraud. Okay, folks, I think you've waited long enough. Let's disclose the shoe that I've run all my PRs in. And are you ready for this? It's gonna take me a little bit to pick it up because it is so heavy and bulky, but here it is. It's the Brooks Adrenaline GTS lines. Now, this isn't the exact shoe that I run all my PRs in. I used to run in like the Brooks Adrenaline 17 and 18 and all these things. This is the Brooks Adrenaline 21. And I wore this shoe back when I really thought that I needed some big built up stability shoe. I just went down to the local running store and they kind of suggested some shoes based on what they saw me walk and run in the store. So this is what I picked up, the Brooks Adrenaline. And this is the shoe I ran in for years. And the Brooks Adrenaline has been around since before anyone even thought about naming a foam Zoom X. Like Zoom X and Next Percent weren't even a thought in someone's mind when they came up with the Brooks Adrenaline line. It's been around for, well, 22 versions at this point. And honestly, these shoes just kind of worked for me. Like that is the biggest thing, folks. If you can go out there and find a shoe that works for you, that is going to be the shoe that you can run your PRs in. If you want to run like in the Alpha Fly, but it's kind of hurting your feet, you're not going to be able to run a PR. How are you going to run for over two hours in a shoe that doesn't work for you? It doesn't make any sense. But if you find a shoe that's comfortable, that is the shoe that you're gonna be able to run fast in. And honestly, I maybe just didn't know. Maybe if I had the Nike Next Percent and all these different things back then, my PRs could be faster. That's absolutely true. It could be the case. But the reality is I didn't know any different. I just went out there and wore the shoe because it felt comfortable and this was my running shoe and I didn't wanna spend money on running shoes. Oh, how the times have changed. And don't get me wrong. This day and age, I would never choose the Brooks Adrenaline to go out and run a race. I would likely pick either the Endorphin Speed or the Next Percent or something else, but this was the fact of the time. I didn't know any different, but right now, of course, I'd make a different decision. And it'll be interesting to see once I get back into that harder training, if these shoes do make a difference and I'm able to surpass those PRs now that I'm a little bit older, I'm becoming an old man. I just went and got glasses the other day. 27 guys, that's the day my eyes went downhill and well, I'm feeling old now. 
So what's the shoe that you've run all your PRs in? Like, is it the next percent? Is it some other super shoe? Let me know in the comment section down below and let's get a discussion going. It's really all about what shoe works for you. There's no one magic shoe that's gonna work for everyone. So you gotta get out there and try some new shoes. Now, I'm gonna leave a link to the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 21 review that I did uh, almost two years ago now, I think it was, but I didn't really like it. And that just goes to show how you can change as a runner through the years. My gait cycle has changed, my biomechanics have changed, everything changes you have to be willing to kind of adapt with your running shoe journey thank you all so much for making to the end of this quick little video just talking about some fun things on a tuesday i'll see you on the next one make sure you subscribe hit the like button all that good stuff see you then